We have been passing laws in this country since 1189. Laws that are still valid to this day. Now, I'm not suggesting we have enough laws and need no more. Yet our MPs, whose job it is to pass laws, have to be judicious in the precious time allocated to their work. We have recently heard of the prospect of passing a new law against spiking. Richard Graham MP, so moved by the vile aggressive assault on one of his constituents, is taking action. He is seeking to bring in a special law against spiking. Well done for the passion, Richard, in representing your constituent. Yet, what will this achieve, as it is already illegal to spike someone? Indeed, you can get 10 years for it. My hang'em and flog'em side tells me this isn't enough. However, in the cold light of day, it probably is. So, what is this MP up to? He's not alone. He's getting a good deal of support off other good MPs. Indeed, he's getting some positive feedback and encouragement from the Home Secretary herself. No bad thing. But if we do have yet another law added to the two we already have, what do we achieve? I've been around Broad Street and its joyous nighttime economy for many years now. Policing the nighttime economy has always been a challenge. At the moment, numbers of cops on the beat has never been lower. The work they do is sensational, but they really do need more. So my advice, which I am sure will be ignored, is more cops please, not more laws. Spiking is a vile, disgusting crime carried out by males who need a comprehensive rewire. Ten years in jail is enough time for them to reflect on their sick, pathetic lives. The two laws which can put them behind bars is more than enough. MPs. No more law needed here. Get us some more cops, please.